Welcome back, space enthusiasts. Today, we have some exciting news from the California Science Center. The iconic space shuttle is about to undergo a remarkable transformation. Stay tuned as we bring you all the details on this incredible endeavor. The space shuttle is going to look launch ready once again, although this time the retired spacecraft won't be firing its engines. Get ready for a captivating journey as we witness the California Science Center embark on a historic mission to bring the space shuttle to life in a whole new way. The California Science Center recently announced their bold plan to stack the components of the space shuttle into a vertical launch pad position. This remarkable process will allow the retired shuttle to go on show at the future Samuel Ocean Air and Space Center currently under construction. Dubbed the go for stacks process, this six-month-long effort is set to begin on July 20, a significant date known as Space Exploration Day. The display will include the Endeavour Orbiter, which went on its first mission in 1992, alongside the rocket's solid boosters and external tank. Once fully stacked, the towering 20-story tall structure will become the only ready-for-launch space shuttle system in the world, showcasing its awe-inspiring staging and appearance. Jeff Rudolph, the president and CEO of the California Science Center, expressed his excitement, stating Endeavor will be the star attraction of the Samuel Ocean Air and Space Center, a launch pad for creativity and innovation that will inspire future generations of scientists, engineers, and explorers. This monumental job of stacking the space shuttle components is no small feat. Notably, it is the first time such a procedure has been performed outside of ANASA facility. The process starts with the installation of the rocket's aft skirts, forming the base of the solid rocket boosters. The solid rocket motors will then be stacked atop these skirts, followed by the placement of the shuttle's external tank, ET-94. And finally, the grand moment comes as the Endeavour Orbiter, with the help of a massive crane, is lifted and connected to the rest of the rocket stack. Together, these elements will make a towering 200-foot, 61-meter, tall space shuttle launch system, which will become the centerpiece around which the Air and Space Center building will be constructed. For the past 11 years, Endeavour has been on show at the California Science Center, captivating visitors in a horizontal position. However, this exciting change will bring the shuttle to life, standing proudly as though it's ready to soar through the skies once more. Let's take a moment to think about the incredible legacy of NASA's space shuttle program. Endeavour's final landing on June 1, 2011, at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida marked the end of an era. Only one more shuttle flight, the Atlantis STS-135, took place, officially closing NASA's remarkable 30-year-long shuttle program that began in 1981. As we eagerly anticipate the go for stacks process and the unveiling of the vertical space shuttle display, we can't help but marvel at the dedication of the California Science Center in preserving this iconic piece of aerospace history. Stay tuned for more updates on this extraordinary project. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest news and developments in the world of space exploration. Until next time, keep looking up to the stars.